It's currently 12 a.m. and a thought came to my mind. This won't be a formal video like an informative video, more of an opinionated rant, I guess you could say. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alessia and I like to discuss moral or societal issues or even philosophical, psychological issues on this channel uh, in a different way. Really trying to get people to think of things. I wouldn't call myself a political channel necessarily. Without further ado, let's get on with this video. Disagreeing is not hate. What do I mean by this? I mean that having a different opinion than someone doesn't necessarily mean they hate you or that they hate the subject or group of people you're talking Talking about. I know this may sound obvious to almost everyone listening, but these days people are acting out in ways that would tell me otherwise. It's also a good time to tell you guys that just because I react to a certain video on my channel or I show you guys a certain video on my channel, it doesn't necessarily mean I agree 100% with what the person is saying. Please keep that in mind because that's something important to remember and can avoid a lot of confusion and problems. <laughs> I'll be honest in this video. I used to be sensitive to people's opinions, but then life hit and I realized as I grew up there are way more important things to that were happening to me than words, than what people were saying, and that words really couldn't hurt me. But I'll be honest, when my anxiety was at an all-time high, and that wasn't too long ago, I was extremely paranoid of everything I said, I was worried people were gonna take things the wrong way, or I was gonna accidentally offend people. It's not that I don't worry about that now, but I start to realize that that is really out of my control. If I'm expressing my thoughts on something, and it is not driven by hate, I'm good. Unfortunately, what happens is because of people's biases or personal experiences, it might trigger something in them. If you're someone who easily gets offended or is sensitive over people's opinions, I would encourage you to look within to see what exactly the issues are or maybe talk to the person you disagree with instead of assuming they hate you. I recently encountered an issue on my channel where I was being accused of siding with evil actions and my subscribers were being insulted because I circulated a video that was about standing with the innocent and thinking and like thinking for yourself, thinking outside the box. It was completely turned into something it wasn't and that's all I'll say about that. The reason I'm bringing this up, to prove a point that it is extremely important to really look at what someone is saying and really take them on their word rather than assuming or jumping to conclusions. Now this is the part where I stopped writing down what I wanted to say. Now, as tensions keep rising all over the world, I am seeing how much people are really attacking each other and attacking people that are on their side, essentially. Like, let's say we're talking about political sides here, like left, right. I think it's important to really analyze what side you're on and not necessarily... You don't have to stand for everything that your side believes or your ethnicity believes or your religion believes because you're an individual person and sometimes this group think mentality can be super toxic. Actually, not sometimes. A lot of the times, as we can see, this group think mentality is getting toxic. And people just wanting to go along with things and trying trying to be right, trying to prove like, hey, I'm right, I'm on the right side of history and, and all this stuff. When in reality, sometimes, you know, sometimes the truth lies somewhere in the middle or it's completely outside these two sides. People think that, oh, to be kind of awakened to things, you have to be on one side of like political things or you have to be part of one religion or you got to be part of one way of thinking. Not necessarily, guys, not necessarily, because it doesn't mean that everybody on one political side is necessarily awakened. And that's something you you realize over time, you know? That's why sometimes siding with different groups can be wrong because you're not gonna necessarily agree with everything they say. And then if you don't agree with everything they say, they might try to kick you out of their community, their group or whatever. No, you're an individual person. Don't try to get, don't let these groups suck you in and try to take you in because then you're kind of stuck there and God forbid you disagree that you're not, then, oh, I'm unsubscribing. You're not welcome anymore, all this kind of stuff. So I'm my individual person, so I don't have to worry about that, you know? <laughs> about being rejected from groups. Have I really encountered people who disagreed with me? Yes, I have. Have they ever really like hated on me? That's kind of debatable because what might be considered hateful to me might not be considered hateful to you and vice versa, right? Okay, let me give an example with my program because this is a big one. And the reason I'm saying this is because I know that what I'm saying on my channel would completely contradict whatever's in the program, right? And I'm gonna be honest, I feel like the black sheep there. I feel like when I sit there, I am a black sheep. Why'd you take this program? Why do you bring it up again? Why do I keep bringing it up? It's a good example. It's a good point to make in, in, the, in these videos. Why did I take the program? Why am I in it? Because of the end goal. Right now, I just got to get through some of it and then the end goal will be worth it. Now, if people want to disagree with me, that's fine. We can debate about it. We can talk about it. That's cool. Even though I'm not really the debating type, we can talk about it. But if you're going to say I'm hateful, if you're going to say that I hate you or that I have something against you or your community, I hate that word now, I don't know why. Your group, whatever, that's false. What words am I saying that are hateful? Again, if you're someone who's very sensitive to opinions, take a step back and try to find where exactly someone is being hateful and really try to hear them out without jumping to conclusions because you don't necessarily know what they actually mean. You're just jumping to conclusions because you're used to maybe people hating on you or you're used to people being hateful when in reality, not everybody's like that. And that's the problem with stereotyping. That's the problem with personal experiences. Not everybody's gonna be like that. So it's important to really take a step back and really see the way people are and realize that it's okay to disagree with people and if they disagree with you it doesn't mean they hate you 
And this is something that I'm still trying to understand because we see, or this is something I'm still trying to accept because we see how hateful people are in the media. We see how extreme people can get. We see how they want you suspended from school, kicked out of jobs for stating opinions. We see what's going on, right? Or for questioning things or for, you know, following um, logical facts or having biblical or having religious beliefs. It's like, boom, you're done. Like they want you out of there. Your opinion is not welcome. That's to me, that's hateful. That's hateful right there. So don't assume just because someone disagrees with you that they hate you. Be friends with them, but at the same, and, and if they disagree with you, it doesn't mean they hate you. If you did nothing to them, disagreeing is a part of life. And that's something we have to realize because when I disagree with someone, I'm actually more worried about how they're going to react. Like, oh, they're probably more likely to hate on me than I am on them because I don't hate anyone. And even if people are like mean to me about it, I don't hate them because hate is a very strong word, guys. It's a very strong word, okay? No, we're all gonna disagree. We all have different experiences, different. We've gone through different things in life. So it is okay to disagree and it is not hateful. And it doesn't mean that someone hates you or wants you out of existence or wants your group out of existence or whatever, just because they disagree. Please hear me out because this is important. Too many extreme opinions, too many extreme ways of thinking. No, we're calm, we're good. No hate is tolerated here, y'all. All love. That is all for this video, guys. Hopefully you learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and send this to someone if you think it will resonate with them or if they need to hear something like this. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.